Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something we all struggle with at some point, time management. Now I don't know about you, but there have been moments in my life when I've had so many things to juggle that it felt like I wasn't making progress on any of them. Have you ever felt like that? Well, the good news is there's a way to overcome that chaos. Today, I'm going to share with you some simple, actionable tips that will help you prioritize and actually achieve your goals. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear strategy to not just manage your time, but to use it in the most effective way possible. First, let's talk about why time management is so crucial. Time is one of the few resources we all have in equal measure. Whether you're a student, a professional, or a parent, we all get the same 24 hours in a day. How you choose to use those hours, that's what separates feeling overwhelmed from feeling in control. Time management isn't just about cramming more things into your day. It's about focusing on what truly matters, prioritizing tasks that align with your goals and values. This way, you're not just busy, you're productive. All right, now let's get practical. How do you actually prioritize? This step is key to time management. One method I swear by is the Eisenhower matrix. In simple terms, you're dividing tasks into categories based on urgency and importance. Urgent and important tasks, do them right away. Important but not urgent, schedule them. Urgent but not important, delegate if you can. And for tasks that are neither urgent nor important, it's time to let those go. Prioritizing tasks this way ensures you're spending time on things that actually move you closer to your goals, rather than getting bogged down with distractions. Speaking of goals, another crucial element of time management is setting the right goals. Ever heard of SMART goals? It stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's say your goal is to get healthier. That's too vague. But if you say, I want to run three times a week for 30 minutes over the next month. Now, that's a SMART goal. It's specific. You can measure your progress. It's achievable if you commit. It's relevant to your health. And you've set a clear time frame. SMART goals give you clarity and direction, making it easier to manage your time. Once you have your priorities and goals in place, it's time to block out time for them. Ever heard of time blocking? This technique is all about allocating specific chunks of your day to specific tasks. Let's say you've set aside 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for deep work. No distractions, just focus time on your most important tasks. Then, from 11.30 to noon, you might spend time answering emails or taking a break. Time blocking helps you stay disciplined and keeps you on track throughout the day. But here's the trick. When that time block ends, move on to the next task. Avoid getting stuck in one thing for too long. This helps prevent burnout and keeps you moving forward. Now let's be honest. Procrastination and distractions are the enemies of time management. I've been there, and I know how easy it is to get sidetracked by social media or endless notifications. So what's the solution? First, eliminate distractions. Turn off unnecessary notifications, put your phone on do not disturb during work hours, and set clear boundaries. Next, use the two minute rule. If a task takes less than two minutes, do it immediately. Small tasks can pile up, but handling them right away keeps you from feeling overwhelmed. One of the best ways to manage your time long term is by building a sustainable routine. And no, I don't mean a super strict minute by minute schedule, unless that works for you. I'm talking about finding rhythms that support your life and goals. Start with the basics. Set a consistent wake up and bedtime. Plan out your meals, schedule work and personal time, and don't forget time for rest. A routine helps you feel grounded, keeps you productive. One last thing before we wrap up, don't forget to stay flexible. Life happens, and sometimes your schedule will get thrown off. That's okay. The goal of time management isn't perfection, it's progress, and minimizes decision fatigue. Make sure to schedule breaks, 
enjoy some downtime, and take care of yourself. Burnout isn't productive, and you can't achieve your goals if you're running on empty. So to recap, prioritize using tools like the Eisenhower Matrix, set smart goals, block your time, minimize distractions, and build a routine that works for you. And most importantly, be kind to yourself in the process. Time management is a skill, and like any skill, it takes practice. Remember, you've got this. Take it one step at a time, and you'll see the benefits of better time management in no time. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video.